Good morning, students. Today I am here to teach you second chapter of class five subject English. And the chapter name is "So You Think You Can Divide." So you think you can divide. So the more you learn, the more you earn. In this chapter, we discuss about the intelligence of a particular person, how they solve their problems in their life. So, intelligence is nothing but finding a common ground to solve an issue. Every problem has a solution, but if we earlier thought that there is no any solution then we not overcome our problem so at first we feel we, re we realize that every problem has a solution with our intelligence so this is the story so you think you can divide is a nice story and also it is a riddle. Riddle means punish. In this story, we see a riddle. Riddle means punish. And the riddle is divide seventy camels among three sons. What was the riddle? Divide seventy camels among three sons. I know you are confused that how much, how can we divide seventy camels among three sons equally? But in the story, we learn the solution of this. Written. So, here I start my story. There was once an old man who had three sons and seventeen camels. The sons were Muglal, Natu, and Laj. There were three sons, and the sons' name was like this: three sons. Natu. First son is Rupnal. Second one is Natu. And third and the youngest son was Laj. And we are not worried in this story about the camels. Camels were called. What was the name of camels? We did not have any query about the name of the camels. So the father was getting very old. And one day he called his sons together and said, Boys, I am old and one of these days I will die. When I am gone, please promise that you won't quarrel over my camels. So here, this story is also a riddle and equally a good story with really a nice message. A father left 17 camels as an asset for his three sons. Asset means asset means wasiyat. It means will or be quick. It means will, wasiyat, be quick, yapar, sambanti. Father was getting very old. So one day he called his three sons together and said, My dear sons, one day I will die. So I I am gone to tell you that please kept a promise with me 
that you won't quarrel my cameras. तुम मेरे कैमरास के साथ किसी तरह का बुरा बर्ताव नहीं करोगे झगड़ा नहीं करोगे उसके साथ The three sons looked gloomy. They did not want their father to die, but they were eager to hear what he had to say. The three sons looked very sad because his father said that he he will die. He didn't want that their father to be die, but they were eager to hear that what he had to say. I want you to divide the camels in this way," continued the old man. "You all, you are my first son, and the oldest. You must have half of the camels." When the father started to say that the old man, "You are my first son, and the young, and the oldest son, so you have to keep half of the camels." You have to keep half of the camels. Next, Rupla looked pleased. Rupla looked very happy. Thank you, father. He said. Now, said the old man, "You are the second boy, and you must have take a third of camels." Now, so next, his father said. Natu, you are my second son, so you must take a third of the camels. Then he turned to the youngest boy and said, "Lalji, you will get a knife. Lalji, you are my youngest son, so you will get a knife of the camel." The younger boys were a little disappointed, but they didn't complain. Younger boy. Looked very hopeless, but he didn't make any complaint with his father. They promised because earlier they promised not to quarrel, but do exactly as their father had commanded. They have to do what they what his father had charged. A few days later, sadly and very suddenly, the father died. The boys arranged the funeral. And when there that was over, they got down to the business of sharing out the camels. A few days later, the father, his father, passed away. So the boys decided to make a funeral. Funeral means a funeral start or a ceremony on bringing a dead person. Then Rupnar, the eldest boy, said. Father, father wanted me to have half of the camels, but half of the seventy is eight and half. So when the father passed away, his sons opened up the will. Will means asset, means sampati or basiya. Opened his father father's will or a legal document. The will of the father states that the eldest son. Should get half of the camel. Rupla, Rupla was the eldest son, and he get half of the camel. So the total number of camel was seventy. According to will, according to the will, Rupla would get half of the camel. Camels. Natu would get. Natu, the middle son, would get one third of the camel. One third of the camels. Laji, the youngest son, would get one ninth of the camel. One night of the camel, but Rupnal said, "Father wanted me to have half of the camels, but half of the seventy, half of the seventy is eight and 
हाँ सो हाउ वे डिसाइड हाउ वे डिवाइड हाफ ऑफ द कैमल हाउ आई गेट हाफ ऑफ द कैमल देर वॉज अ रिडल देर वॉज a question comes a question in front of is in front of three cells how can i take half a camel the best idea would be for me to take my camels and you to catch share the rest so rupa is decided the two other son that i didn't get half of the camel so it is better to take one camel and totally i would get nine camels but the two other son disagree with the decision of rupla the other two the other two brother look stern the other two brother look silent with the decision with the advice of rupla they shook their heads from side to side to show that they were agreeing with their brother's idea you know said yaku you are already getting the bigger share why should you get half a camel more the uh, middle of the sun naku said that already you get a more share of camel then why then why should you get half a camel more it is best that you take ten camel naku give idea that you already get bigger share of camel so why should you give a half camel more it is best you get only eight camel it is best naku said that it is best you get eight camel but rupal said rupal said well that is a good idea but you know it is not according to our father's wish rupal said it is good idea but it is not according to our father will so how i get half camel less the brother sat and thought for a while they didn't want to get into a big argument or come to come to blows then the three brothers sat down and think about the father's wish and how to share the camels according to their father father's will then the youngest youngest son lalji broke the silence because all the three brothers silently sat down and make a idea how we share the camels according to the to the father's will then the youngest son lalji break the silence how about selling one camel and then dividing the money then lalji said how about selling one camel and dividing the money the other two scowled scowled and made their dislike for this decision of his but the other two brothers disagree with the decision of lalji lalji said that it is better to sell one camel it is better to sell one camel and divide the rest camel among three three sons so total in total we have 17 camels lalji's idea was to sell one camel sell one camel one camel then they have 70 minus 1 16 so now rupla would get half of the camel it means 16 by 2 8 camel nahu one third of the camel it means 16 by 3 the idea was not going properly so the two brothers decide the idea of lunch now then what about killing one camel and feeding the village in memory of our father asmanji seeing that they were unhappy with 
with this idea. Then Lalji again gave an idea that killing one camel and feeding the village people in the memory of his father. But the two brothers always and again disagree, feeling unhappy with the idea of Lalji. What shouted Rupla? Rupla screamed, Where's the good camel by feeding the whole village? You must be crazy. Rupla said, Rupla screamed, like, No, it wasn't possible that resting a good camel by feeding those village people. The argument went on and on. In this way, every time one of the sons made a decision and another two disagreed with it. Again, one of the son made a decision and other two disagreed. Their voice got louder and louder. Their face got redder and redder. And there was much stamping of feet and shaking of feet. The three brothers start to fight with each other. With each other. They start stamping of feet, bring down heavily on the ground and shaking of feet. They start quarreling with each other. When the argument became more heated and was reaching its height, a man came that way, leading a camel by a rope. When the argument was reaching at its height, it means the argument was at the highest level, a man coming that way, leading a camel by a rope. एक आदमी उस तरफ से आ रहा होता है उसके साथ एक कैमल होता है ईमानदार व्यक्ति वो आदमी जो अपने कैमल के साथ आ रहा था वो ऐसा प्रतीत होता है जैसे कि वो एक ईमानदार व्यक्ति हो और वो वहां रुक कर इन तीनों भाइयों के झगड़े को सुनने लगता है After some time, the holy man came closer to the brothers. Now, my friends, said the holy man, I am sorry to interrupt your discussion, but can I be of any help? After some time, listening the or viewing the fighting of these three sons, holy man came closer to the brothers and said, May I help you to solve your problems? It is not very good to fight and shout at each other. The neighbors of blood vessels. It is not good to fight with his with your own brothers. It may burst your blood vessels. At first, the brothers wanted to send the man away, but then they thought he might be able to help them with their problems. At first, the brothers said, "No, no, we don't have any help. We don't need any help." But later. They decided to listen the solution of holy man. Where holy man said, "Lord, we have quarrelled over the inheritance that was bequeathed to us by our father." Rupla said that we are quarrelling here to the will of our father, in which, according to the will. Rupla, it means the youngest son, it means the oldest son, gave get half of the camels. Natu, the middle of the son, would get one third of the camel. Laji, the youngest son, would take one ninth of the camel. But we were not able to share seventy camels according to our father's will, according to our father's wish. So here we are quarrelling over this between this will. Rupa then told the holy man all about the camels and how they were to be divided. The holy man listened to the story with great interest. When the story was over, he smiled wisely. The holy man listened the story of these three sons very silently, very calmly. And with a great interest, at the end of the story, when the story was over, the holy man smiled very wisely. Here he said, "Take my camel and see how that will help in your sharing." Holy man said that, "Please take my camel and see how my camel will 
will help you to share your camels according to your father's will. The holy man held out the rope for you. Who planned to take? We can't do that. Replied the brothers. It is very kind of you to make this offer. Muslim said, No, no, no. We. It is very kind that you give your camel to solve our problem. But you must not give up your camel. The holy man smiled kindly. No, no, please take it. He said, If God wills, I shall not be the prop poor for it. Again, the holy man said, Please take this man, take my camel. If God wills, अगर भगवान ने चाहा तो मैं एक कैमल देने से गरीब नहीं बन जाऊंगा ऐसे और भी कैमल्स मेरे पास आ जाएंगे कृपया करके आप मेरे कैमल्स को ले ले और देखें कि आपके सेवेंटी कैमल्स में मेरे कैमल को जोड़ने के बाद कुछ बात बनती है या नहीं बनती है आप प्लीज एक बार देख लें With these words, he gave them the camel. These words, the holy man gave his camels to the three brothers. The brothers thanked him. Thank you very much. Then led the camels to where their own camels were tied. They tied the holy man's camel next to their own camels, and then started to make the calculation once again. With the holy man's camel, we now had a total of eighty camels. So. As it is not possible to decide seventeen camels according to the father wills, then holy man give him one camel more. So here, in total, the three brothers one camel from holy man. Three brothers have eighty camels. Holy man's camel. So total, eighty camels are there. So now, half of the eighty, half of the eighty means half of the eighty is nine camels. One third of the eighty. Is six camels, and one ninth of the eighteen is two camels. So, by taking holy man man's camel, the brother solved their problem that to divide the camels according to their father's will. Among three brothers, so in total, total camels the brothers have Rupal plus Nathu plus Laj nine plus six plus two is equal to seventy camels. It means. One camel was rest. Uh, the brothers stood quiet. Tino Thai, they put too sharp on them. They were struck with amazement. They feel surprised, and their jaws drop open. Wow! For their standing by itself was the holy man's camel. One camel was rest, and this was the holy man's camels. The brother looked very surprised that how the one camel was rest. We decide we divide the camel according to our father's wills, but in rest one camel. Was left. So there was. This was the riddle of the story. Divide seventy camels according to the according to their father's will. According to the father's will, that Rupal would get half the camels, Nathu get one third of the camels, and Lalji get one ninth of the camels. The holy man smiled and he 
bent down and took up the rope which was tied to his camel and said polyman said you see my friends very softly polyman said you see my friends there is no need to quarrel everything can be settled in a friendly manner if we try everything will be settled in a friendly manner if we try so at last one camel was left which was the holy man's camel and the wise man took back his camel so moral of the story is if we use our intelligence then we can solve our problem at any time like this however to reach a solution the first thing the first step is to believe that there is a solution but if we think that there is no solution we won't be able to reach our solution at any time so i hope you enjoyed the story please do the exercise questions fill in the blanks true false and thank you very much